Using velocity versus time graphs to describe motion A velocity time graph can be used to measure the velocity of an object over time. The slope of the line on a velocity time graph reveals the acceleration of the object, an upward slope indicates positive acceleration, this means the object is speeding up, a downward slope indicates negative acceleration, or deceleration, meaning the object is slowing down, at zero acceleration, the object is moving at a constant velocity. Velocity versus time graph at first glance, a graph of velocity versus time might look a lot like the graphs of position versus time we've been working with, in fact, they are set up nearly identically, we use the same x, y coordinate system, the same shape, and the same time variable on the x-axis. The only difference is instead of position, with the unit meters, on the y-axis, we use velocity with meter per second units, that's the basic velocity versus time graph, basic velocity versus time graph remember, what we are describing with these graphs is the motion of an object in a straight line, velocity is a vector quantity, requiring a magnitude and a direction, but, with straight line motion, the only directions we have to worry about are forwards and backward, when the object is moving forwards, we call it positive, when it's moving backward, we call it negative and so those values need a negative sign. The shape of a velocity versus time graph You will definitely have to make a velocity versus time graph for one of your exams, and you should expect to answer several basic questions about the shape of the graph. Fortunately, these graphs are very easy to read. Once you understand what's going on, let's take a look at an example graph representing the motion of a car on a straight track. Graph for example as you can see above, we have velocity on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. As the car starts moving, the velocity changes from 0 meters per second to 20 meters per second between t equals 0 s and t equals 2 s. Hopefully, you remember that a change in velocity is called acceleration. So, a rising line on a velocity versus time graph represents that the object is accelerating, since the velocity is increasing, the acceleration is positive, now, look at the graph below between t equals 2s and t equals 6s, what's going on here, the car is driving at a constant velocity of 20 meters per second for 4 seconds, so, a flat, horizontal line means that the velocity is constant and the object is not accelerating, the graph between 2 and 6 seconds.